Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Police make Miami Dolphins pay big price after NFL refused to enforce anthem respect. A Broward County police union is hitting back hard against the continued disrespect coming from the Miami Dolphins. The Broward County Police Benevolent Association of Broward County, Florida has recently chosen to cancel participation in a discount ticket program with the NFL franchise after some players recently renewed protests by continuing to refuse to stand for the national anthem at a preseason game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Broward County PBA made the announcement in a statement posted on their official Facebook, stating Dash. The Broward County PBA recently offered our members discounts to a Miami Dolphins game because that franchise said they were going to honor all first responders. We entered into this partnership with the understanding that the Dolphins organization would require their players to stand for the national anthem. This did not happen at last night's preseason game against Tampa Bay. As a result, the BCP will no longer participate in this ticket program, and we are asking all of our members, as well as members of the Dade County PBA and Palm Beach County PBA, not to participate either. If you have already purchased tickets to this game, we encourage you to call the Dolphins ticket office to request a refund because this organization obviously does not honor first responders and the dangers they put themselves in every day. The actions of Broward County PBA followed three Dolphins kneeling in protest during the national anthem in the protest that just will not end. Three players, 26-year-old wide receiver Kenny Stills, 26-year-old wide receiver Albert Wilson, and 28-year-old defensive end Robert Quinn. Stills and Wilson chose to kneel, and Quinn chose to stand but raised his right fist in solidarity. Fox Sports reports Dash. Kenny Stills kneeled in protest during the national anthem Thursday, and said he offered a prayer of thanks that he had a teammate's support. Stills and two other Miami Dolphins renewed their protests before an exhibition game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, triggering yet another round of debate about the divisive NFL issue. Receivers Stills and Albert Wilson kneeled behind teammates lined up standing along the sideline. Defensive end Robert Quinn stood and raised his right fist, as he did during the anthem last season with the Los Angeles Rams. Stills said he didn't coordinate with Wilson, who joined the Dolphins this season. It just happened that way, Stills said. When I'm on a knee, most of the time I'm praying, and thank God for having Albert next to me. Being a part of this protest hasn't been easy. I thought I was going to be by myself out there. Today I had an angel with me with Albert being out there. I'm grateful he sees what's happening, and he wants to do something about it as well. Stills kneeled during the anthem in the 2016-17 seasons and has been vocal discussing social injustice issues that inspired the protests by NFL players. As a result, Broward County PBA is now urging all members to request refunds for any and all tickets previously purchased. Dolphins team owner Stephen Ross states he would like to see his players stand for the anthem. Fox 13 reports the owners of Beefa Brady's in Brooksville, Florida, Curtis and Janet West have followed suit. The Wests are also taking a vocal stand against the NFL and its players by choosing to cancel the restaurant's pricey direct TV NFL Sunday ticket package. Instead, the couple is choosing to use the $5,200 they are saving by choosing not to purchase the NFL Sunday ticket package to offer a 40% food discount to veterans on Sunday game days. Signs around the restaurant read. Beef O'Brady's will not be financially supporting the NFL this year due to their lack of compassion and gratitude for our American service members. Our national anthem is one of the methods we as American citizens have always used to show our appreciation to all military service members, past or present, alive or DD. This tradition deserves respect and unfortunately, the NFL does not feel that same way. So, for this season, we will not be purchasing the NFL ticket. Perhaps, it will make a difference if it hits their wallets. Meanwhile, the originator of the protests, former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, tweeted his support of Stills and Wilson's choice to kneel, stating, My brother Ick Stills continued his protest of systemic oppression tonight by taking a knee. Albert Wilson at I think is A12 joined him in protest. Stay strong brothers. Naturally, there has been some pushback with some comments on Facebook asserting that the NFL players have the constitutional right to kneel or to protest as they so choose during the national anthem. Many others voice their support, backing the police organization and its decision to disassociate itself. As one Facebook user stated, I didn't see any of the people kneeling do anything in the off-season to address their concerns so to me it is just a matter of disrespect for the country so I won't be watching pro football. Another Facebook user commended the action stating, Excellent. Everyone should take a strong stand against this. 
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.